Hello, welcome back to All Mama All Right. I am April and I am All Mama and everything is pretty cool, pretty good. Yeah, Z Girl and I had a little adventure today. We decided to, it's just been so gorgeous here in the Carmel Monterey Bay area. So we decided to explore a new area <laughs> in the area, uh, Moss Landing. One of my girlfriends uh, had just been down there with her family and brought her son, who's around Zena's age, and they had a blast just exploring the beaches and there's a bunch of otters and seals and birdies. So we decided to do that today and it's about an hour away. So with ventures like that, there is some strategy behind it, meaning that we usually miss one nap. And I'm talking about Zena missing a nap, not, not me, mama. Even though I wish I could have two naps a day, that would be, that would be freaking amazing. But it seems to be always worth it in the end even if there are some hiccups, some screams, some why am I trying this again for the hundredth time type of deal or thoughts. But man, I have to be honest. And when I was deciding to leave the corporate world along with help with you know my higher power definitely helping me make that decision towards leaving i i thought i would be bored i thought that caring for a little human that can't even hold a conversation in the same english i mean she she thinks she's speaking english or some language and I'm speaking English most of the time. And I, I honestly thought that the days would just be so tedious and blah, 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 just mute. Basically, I would have nothing to gain from them. I ha would have nothing to, you know, provide to conversations. I would become dull. I was really fearful that I would, because, because let's think about it for a second. What is the first question that you're asked when you're out and about? Besides, we don't even shake hands anymore because of COVID. So I, I think we go straight to the, so what do you do? And I was, you, you know, used to be able to wholeheartedly and confidently answer that. And I'm April, I'm in recruiting and onboarding at a, at a startup company. We're in blah, 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 you know? And, and then the conversation would go to there. Oh, recruiting. Oh, that means it. Oh. And then anyways, I always had a story and that story had a definition that I just, I knew my elevator pitch. And that is one thing that I'm still trying to figure out. The fact that I, I feel like I need an elevator pitch is just because of the times and the, you know, the culture that we live in. And I, I hope, I know I, when asked in saying I'm a stay at home mom is I'm going to confidently say that, but I think maybe that's one reason that I'm wanting to start this, this channel and, you know, and soon, soon podcast is because I want to have this conversation with, with other mothers. And I, I want to help create the new definition, redefine what it is to be a mom, a stay at home mom. Cause of the old, uh, maybe the old interpretation of what it means and, and in the boredom factor, maybe the scariness that is, oh, you're a state mom, that's boring. Because 
let me just tell you that besides besides you know thinking that going from my my corporate role to to caring solely for for Zena um I you know I thought I'd have all this free time in the world holy manoli and yes that's a new word manoli I I I don't I don't it is the days just I I'm I'm able to accomplish so much more in caring for home self Zena husband and passion so I think you know that is the life that I ultimately am choosing to lead as opposed to work and then squeeze in a little z and hubby time mostly netflix time who be kidding before before the day would start over again so i think that was the the retraining of the mind of this is the opposite of of boredom this is and it's that's what i'm what i'm learning is just it's all about the mindset it's all about perspective and it is all about my approach to each each day because i can i can make them boring 100 percent. i could totally just wake the up put her on the ground feed her put her back to bed i could watch television then I could twiddle my thumbs, right? You know, I, I, I could easily make it boring. And you know what? Watching television at times sounds very appealing. But I, I am choosing to do it differently. And what that has turned into and what that looks like is, oh my gosh, are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So Mondays, I'm not going to go through every day. I promise I won't torture y'all, but it's just an idea of, you know, after the first couple of weeks of really just trying to figure out how to, how to be a mom. I, I wasn't really understand, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't doing it the way I was doing it when I had a, a full-time job. It looked very, very different, you know, like what I thought I was being present for just gained so much more momentum and depth to it when I didn't have the distraction and the monkey mind towards towards my full-time role. So by quieting the mind in that sense, I I had to learn how to be a mom the first couple of weeks. And then once I had that under my belt, aha, wink, I just wanted to, you know, go again against myself with going out <laughs> with with Zena. And for a long time, you know, and that that's hard. It's hard going anywhere with a little human at any age. And again, the mindset, I would just say it's going, it's going to be hard, but I can do it. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesomely hard. And and the more and more I would do it, it just takes practice. And now our Mondays, we have a routine. After her morning nap, we always go to Trader Joe's. And now we know, you know, Lisa, the sales clerk, and she helps us if we, you know, if we can't find the sweet potatoes. Lisa, can you help us find the sweet potatoes? Because I just learned this about Trader Joe's. They restock first thing in the morning, but then they won't restock until the following morning. So if you're actually in Trader Joe's and they're, the shelves are empty, just ask a Lisa because ask a Lisa, meaning a person that works there. Uh, cause they'll, they'll help you out. They're so nice. Um, we always do that. And then we either go to Captain and Stoker to grab a coffee and avocado toast, or we go to Elroy's, one of our favorite little boutique places and uh grocery places and grab a little salad and then we have lunch together and and that's Monday 
And, and then Tuesday we do something else. And then Wednesday, like today, we decided to take an adventure and, and we've been to Big Sur a couple of times and with each, which I'm doing it, you guys, I'm doing it for me. So I don't get bored. And so I, and, and so Zen, I just gets used to moving and meeting people and this natural stimulus that comes with the nature and interactions and connection and trying different foods and, and heck I'm doing this for my growth in my ED as well, being able to, you know, sit down, have lunch at a place where I, you know, it's, it, I don't get the same thing every time, you know, I have my routines when I'm around this area, but wild Wednesdays, maybe that's a, maybe that'll be it. Just wild Wednesday. And Z and I pack the car and we just hit the road and end up where we end up. And it gets wild because today was even, you know, we pulled off at the, at the beach and just went and it ended up being a, you know, Moss Landing State beach where so many people go surfing. So we were just, you know, of course I'm, I'm in what purple, pink butterflies, you know, and all these surfer dudes, Zen is in pink, of course. And, uh, and it was it was awesome. And she is loving the beach, just loving the sand. And again, the, the connection that we made with, with locals and they told us where to eat and it was, and just watching the surf. I mean, no wonder they get out there. It was, it was, wow. I, I applaud those humans that, that surf those gnarly waves. Um, and Hey, Zena might be a surfer one day. Who knows? But, but yeah, doing that. And then we saw otters and that was so cute. Zena trying to like get to the otters and, and then at the, at the restaurant where we went, we right on the water, we saw seals. So, and I, I, I really, in my Instagram, I, I do post like about our, our travels, but I don't, and that, you know, keeps me out of boredom, but I, I try not to let that take away from the present as well. And I know that's going to be a tricky part with wanting to build a career in social media, but I'll come to that bridge. I'll, there's a many a bridges I come to and cross at a later time with this accent. And I just cannot believe I ever thought that I would be bored. It's just, there's a different, I'm, I, I, I can't tell you how quickly the days go by. Good days, bad days, hard days, easy days, all the days, all the emotions, but they, they do go by. And that is just so great. And I used to, I used to even build resentments against those that I would see working or even I would build resentments against myself for choosing well again I didn't choose not to work for for not working at a nine to five job <laughs> technically to to you know working this this type of job and I do have to approach certain parts of being a stay-at-home mom as work because otherwise I I may get a little stir crazy like I do laundry a lot a lot you do dishes a lot that's part of the job so I I kind of look at stay-at-home motherhood as as if I were to write a job description for it, that's actually a really good homework assignment. If I were to write a job description, what would that entail? What would be my objective? What would be my past experience? Because I have been able to take so much of my skills from previous roles into motherhood. For example, expenses. I now track expenses on apps. I 
can't tell you how many freaking expense reports I have had to do in my past life for, for, you know, when you're trying to get through a credit card bill and show proof of payment to over a hundred K. Yeah. It gets a little tricky. We're not working with those numbers at the moment one day, but, but yeah, that skill set organization, calendaring, multitasking. Oh goodness gracious. I mean, multitasking. I sometimes turn all of the household chores into a type of video game approach where I am, you know, running from, from bad guys and then shooting three pointers and then, um, you know, scaring the dogs with the vacuum. Ah, See, how can I get bored with this stuff? You just can't. You really just can't. Um, you know, little tips and tricks that I'm sure all of you mothers out there have picked up from not, from just wanting to bring joy and sanity to maybe what things that could cause you to go insane. And I would love to hear them. I would love to hear them because I, I have, a, I have a bunch. Um, and, and, you know, I'm sure everyone has turned on the music and just danced uncontrollably while mopping the floors and, um, and man, just, I, I am, I am loving it. And I think I see I'm still surprised every single day by that. And even sometimes that is hard to admit that I love this hard knock motherhood type of living and life and job and, and love so hard to love sometimes to love these, these little humans and so hard to love yourself when you're not in the best place with the little human, I have definitely, let's see, what, what one of like five examples can I give today is just patience and know that screaming is just their, that's how they're, they talk to you and don't take it personally. I'm sure you're doing everything correctly, but, but it's hard when, you know, you're about to drop your lunch plate and you're trying to hold a child and then she drops her shell that she picked up from the ocean and now she's screaming and you're just like, okay, do I drop the overpriced fish that I just bought or the baby that I made, which at times seems overpriced, but, um, <laughs> Yeah. And I just want those mothers who have those, those times and challenging times that I hope you can find laughter around them. Not in the moment, of course, maybe in the moment, I tend to just laugh because I can only imagine because that's the uncomfortableness that's coming up for me is instead of screaming, along with the child, why don't I laugh? And maybe that'll distract the child enough. Hasn't worked yet, but it is maybe worth, you know, experimenting, experimenting with a little more. And I just, there are going to be so many more adventures and that's, that's how I'm keeping the boredom bug off. And I know it's going to come. I know at one point I'm going to want to do more and I will do more. And that's why I'm wanting to do this. So we can all talk about having the boredom bug or not, or not wanting this lifestyle, but being forced into this lifestyle as a mother, um, or stay at home mom and any freaking topics that you are wanting to discuss and be heard and be seen. I mean, this, I've, I'm going to keep preaching because it's going to happen. And I just, you know, instead of this 
love you bear right here. I'm gonna have a guest. This is gonna be my guest right here. Yeah, yeah. All righty. Well, I hope I didn't bore you. <laughs> and if I did, I, I am learning as I as I've been saying, and I just um, I can't wait until next time. This mama is signing off. All righty, y'all.